guys, welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back today filming another video. Today's video is going to be a review on my new planner. It is Plum Paper and it's my new obsession. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so excited. It's finally here. I also did a review on my blog over at itsmikatrice.com if you want to see more photos and more up close pictures and things like that. So today I'm just gonna kind of show you and kind of talk about it, my favorite parts of it. So if you would like to see that, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to the planner is the design. So when I was on the hunt for my new planner, um, I really wanted to pick something that was a simple design but still something that was that I would like to look at thing that was kind of glam but kind of you know simple every day if those two things can go together which they do um, I also wanted to find something that I knew would work for work and for like personal life my blog I wanted something for my YouTube channel I wanted to keep like my house decorating things in it I wanted it to be like an all-in-one here it is so it's gold and kind of like a turquoise and it's got a monogram and then it's got uh, 1617 right here and it's the same design on the back. This is what sold me. This is something that I knew that I could look at all the time and not get bored of it. Um, and I knew that it would be able to transition like take it to work, be out and about with it. It's really pretty. I like the gold and the turquoise together. you can choose when you want your planner to begin when you want it to end um, I chose a 12 month option so I started with June and then I went to of course May so I went from June to June so each month looks like this and then whatever you know the, the title of the month uh, the letter is right here in the corner so each of them has a different color a different page um, and then inside of each month, you have monthly highlights, birthdays, events. You can choose all that, so things to remember. And then the best part that I think is you get to choose um, your design. So I chose the horizontal version. I chose horizontal because I like it better. I can write easier horizontally. And I liked that you were, you were able to hide, and then you also had a little square here to write any other details you wanted. And every month is just like that. Um, the other thing that sold me on Plum Paper was the ability to have add-ons. I added on a My Home section, and I also added on a Blog section. My Home section, I was able to bill tracking and payments and like monthly bills, monthly expenses. I'm able to do like goals for the month. I'm able to do a cleaning schedule, gift lists, um, important contacts, to-do lists, which is really important because we just moved into a new house. So I have a lot of projects that I'm working on. Um, things to remember, um, important events, unforgettable moments, milestones, monthly expenses, monthly goals, um, shopping lists, which is also very important. All of those things I'm able to do in the My Home section, and I really love that part. Now, in the blog section, I decided to use the blog section for my blog, blogitsmecatrice.com, and as well as my YouTube channel. So, monthly overview page, you're able to kind of just write your websites and, and um, inspiration, which is important for me, your blog to-dos, your post ideas, and then your final post schedule, which is really good because you know, it helps you get on a schedule. That way you don't forget like when you're supposed to upload and what you're uploading and things like that. So that's in the blog section. There's huge amounts of pages of post ideas, which is super important because for me, I get inspiration when I'm out and about or doing anything. So I'm able to, you know, jot down what, what ideas I have about posting. You have monthly blog stats, which is important. Um, everything, of course, is on the computer these days and you're, you're able to see your analytics see on the computer, but that doesn't mean that I don't wanna write it down, you know? So you're able to see page views, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, everything. You can be able to do uh, your blog annual planner, which is kind of like, obviously, the yearly outlook. So I really like that part too. 
So overall guys, I really recommend the Plum Paper Planner. I really like it. I pretty much like am attached to it. I take it with me everywhere. It's a little obsessive. Um, but I'm able to just write everything in it. I'm able to write down blog things, things for the house, things that I need to get to decorate, things that I need from Costco. Um, everything goes in here and it's just a one-stop shop. Um, and that part I really, really like. Don't forget to check out my blog. I have a lot of pictures on there. The Plum Paper Planner Review a blog post. If you just click on it, you're able to see lots of in-depth pictures and kind of a little bit more. See you later. Bye.